Good morning, Southern California, AM 1220 KHGS. Host Fred Arnold on the Valley Industry Association Business Spotlight. I'm here with Chris Vandermeulen. I get that right? You did. Vandermeulen. Cornerstone Preferred Insurance. And uh, we want to talk today about, about uh, commercial insurance. Correct. Yeah, commercial insurance for your business. Correct. Yeah, so tell us more about commercial insurance and the different types of commercial insurances there are. Sure, sure. Um, we're a full-service agency. Um, I have 13 years' experience. I'm a, I'm a local uh, Santa Clarita resident. I've been here for over 18 years. And um, But you're young. Did you go to school here, high school? Um, I didn't. Did in Burbank, right? actually. Okay. Grew up in Burbank, yeah. But um, came from the golf golf industry before insurance, ironically. Uh-huh. And uh, But lived up here and married four kids. And um, Congratulations. Yeah, they all go to school here. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually 13 years' experience selling business insurance. Um, currently with uh, Cornerstone Preferred Insurance and uh, extremely, extremely happy to be there. Um, it's just an amazing place. The staff is phenomenal. And uh, we're actually, Cornerstone is, is an independent agent, part of a 50-agent uh, con- agency conglomerate that makes up United Agencies. So it's, it's, and I'll talk more about that later, but it's just really fantastic. We have kind of a small agency feel but we carry the power of like a big agency with regard to our carriers. So, so the different kind of coverages you have and you typically need, um, I think of is liability. Yeah, we do general liability for businesses, of course, general liability, uh, property insurance. So what is general liability? General liability specifically basically is it covers numerous things, but it protects the business in case they get sued for certain types of losses. Um, it can be anything from a slip and fall at your business to, you know, a product or a, something that you do that is your business and you make a mistake mm-hmm. or somebody gets injured. So there's, there's, it covers a, a wide variety of things. You know, in business, one thing people don't think about is if you have salespeople and or employees driving their car to take care of business, dropping something off in sales, where, where do you run into concerns with that? And, and how do you get coverage to make sure as a business owner – your employees covered if there's an accident while they're running an errand and or taking care of business. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, it definitely brings a lot of claims, and it's a huge area of concern. Um, if the if the if the business owns its own vehicles, then that would fall under a commercial auto policy. Um, if they don't, um, then there's a type of insurance that they can purchase that's called hired and non-owned auto liability. And basically, what that is is if they were to rent a vehicle or if employees use your use their own vehicles. You know, for they run out and go to the bank and, and come back, and they get into a car accident. That type of that type of in, uh, coverage would actually protect the business. Okay, so so, so you can get coverage for that. We do, and, and we don't write a policy without it. Yeah, so smart, <laughs> smart. Yeah. workers comp. Um, yeah, it was reformed yeah. a few years back. It was reformed, and a lot of people have loved the changes that were in the reform. But uh, I know it's gotten it's got a lot of fraud still now involved in it, so it's, it can be expensive. Yes. Let's talk about work, workers comp and where it's at. Yeah, workers' comp, um, you know, the last couple of years, not a whole lot has changed, um, except when rates are rates fluctuate, they go up and down. Um, we're currently seeing, you know, roughly, d- depending on the carrier, about a 10% rate increase over the board. But um, they're, they're trying to get better with fraudulent claims. They still happen. Um, workers' comp is no-fault insurance, so it's, you know, sometimes it's difficult to prove that, but... There's still a lot of fraudulent claims, but it's still required by law. Still right? required to have, yeah. Absolutely. But the, Absolutely. the change they made some years back really helped quite a bit. It did. And there used to be a lot of uh, a lot of types of claims that were you know fraudulent, and the insurance company would pay, and ultimately it would affect the employer's rates and their experience modification. And you know, But they're, 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 they're trying at least to get a better handle on that. So we talked about liability, talked yep. about the different things with auto, workers' comp. Anything else a business owner needs to concern themselves when it comes to insurance? Um, yeah, what? actually, uh, employee benefits. You know, and I, about half of my business is, is health insurance. And, uh, right. of course, lots of changes there with uh, the Affordable few. Care Act and everything. But, um, yeah, a lot of changes coming up. Businesses that have over 50 employees, they, you know, they have to, January, unless it, unless it, Changes again, they will have to provide health insurance, you know, for their employee for their employees. So um, I do a lot of that. We have access to all the carriers, and um, that I think I personally feel um, 
a service issue with that. I think that one doesn't get serviced very, very well. It's kind of a write and forget policy, unfortunately, but um, I provide some services personally to where I really work close with HR people and really do a lot of great things to help them, you know, get a handle on their insurance. And number one, their employees. Um, I, I've worked various jobs and a lot of them, they give you the packet, fill it out, give it, turn it into HR. They, you don't know what you're buying. So the service that I provide is I actually do that for the businesses. I meet with the employees and make sure that they understand the coverage that is being provided to them. Very important. Those, Chris, that want to reach out to you, get more information. Yeah. Um, if they want to get a hold of me, um, is that what you're asking? Yeah. As far? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Those who want to reach out to you. Yeah. Um, Our main office is in Glendora, uh, or I'm sorry, in Glendale, I apologize. And uh, my office number is uh, 818-643-2305, cornerstonepref.com is our website, and um, I'm on there. You can find me, and uh, my my direct email is cvandermulen at unitedagencies.com. Thanks for coming in. No problem. Appreciate Thank you. you. Thanks for supporting the Valley Industry Association. Of Ladies course. and gentlemen, Chris Vandermeulen with Cornerstone Preferred Insurance. Hope you enjoyed this edition of the Valley Industry Association Business Spotlight. Show us Fred Arnold on AM 1220 KHDS.